Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to learn how to load data to pre-formatted Excel report in SSIS package. So this is very common and sometimes we have Excel that is already created and we want to load the data and then we want to provide that file to the customers. So what I have here, I want to create a, this customer data report with the date uh, every time this package run and I want to write the data to this format. So I have some columns already um, or some values or the format that is set for this template. Uh, your, your report might be, a, you know, they have a lot of uh, columns uh, here and there and all that. And then uh, you want to just put the data under these columns. And there could be possibility these columns are even bold and these columns uh, could be having different uh, background color. So let's change this one. Okay, so what we have, uh, we have this uh, template uh, that is already our business created and they want us to load the data under that one. So how we would do that in SSIS package. Now, uh, let's take this one, make a, just I have this one in the template folder. So I'm going to take the copy of this one and put uh, in the one of the folder called destination folder. So let me go to the output folder and I have here a destination folder. Let me drop this template because this is different at template. So I want to put this one here. Paste it here. Let's go to the SSDT or bids and create our SSIS package. Now we have SSIS package created by right clicking and giving the name load data to report. That's what the name we are going to give. I have the table from where I need to extract the data and that has exact same column names what I have in the report. So you can create your store procedure, maybe a view from where you want to extract the data and put to the uh, Excel report or Excel file. Here, now we need to read the data from the SQL Server table. So I'm getting, I brought the data flow task here and I will be using the OLEDB source to read the data from a SQL Server table. Let's make it a little big so you can see that clear. Make a connection here. I can use the existing one. I'm going to create the new one this time. Show you how it works. You have to provide the server name here or SQL Server instance name. And uh, then you have to provide the database name where you want to load or where, from where you want to extract the data. In our case, we are extracting the data from test database. So hit OK, hit OK. And then uh, we will be writing our query or we will be extracting data from a table or view. I recommend writing a query. And uh, uh, if uh, later the column name, uh, sorry, new columns are added or some other columns are deleted, which you never use in this query, at least your package would not uh, fail. So put the columns here or the query, whatever you have or store procedure, you can use it. I have a video where I have shown you how to use a store procedure in the OLEDB source. So you can uh, take a look in the list of SSIS videos and find out that video as well. That's helpful. Uh, go to the columns. So we see all the columns are here. And the next part is uh, we are going to write the data to the Excel destination. So I'm going to bring Excel destination here. Now I will be making a connection to the file. So I will be creating a new connection. And here I have to browse to the file. So I have destination folder. This is the uh, file where I want to write the data. So I selected that one. And now this is a Microsoft Excel 2000 file. It already choose this one. And I do not want to write the first row as column names. So uh, because my file is already um, has some formatted uh, columns. So I don't want to overwrite them. So remove this one. And we have already put the columns by ourselves in the one of the row, uh, in one of the, actually, uh, yeah, in one of the row in different uh, columns, we have those names. So uh, what is the behavior here? The Excel is going to start right next to that row. It will write the data right next to the row and uh, that's how our format for that uh, report will be saved and we will only insert the data. So hit OK. Now we select the sheet name. So it, it was sheet 1. If there would be a different name, you can select that one. Now here we go to mapping 
and we can see that the destination columns are not coming as a column name because we didn't provide that and uh, that's fine we know that uh, how we need to map so let's go to id there could be some issues with data types we might encounter let's see if we do then we have to fix them and then hit ok so we see that the data type between the first name and f2 those columns are not matching so what we need to do we have to convert that let me show you how i know that so first go to mappings here with the id i see id is dt i4 that's integer and here on this side it is a uh, string uh, unicode string that's an worker that might work this conversion might work this will be able to handle it but here when we have string and on the other side in the excel we have dtwstr that's unicode string and worker this is not given us option to convert automatically so we have to convert a few of the columns so let's go back here drop this connection between them bring the data conversion transformation you can use drive column if you want in this case uh, i'm gonna use the data conversion if you have uh, different uh, expressions that you want to write on these columns you better use a uh, uh, drive column and uh, otherwise uh, you can use data conversion so we are reading uh, the string and we want to convert to the dtwstr so let's convert them and uh, see convert all of them the next part is uh, you might still get some warnings but that's gonna be okay because we know that our length uh, that is coming from the source is uh, uh, 100 and uh, that will be able to accommodate in the excel as it will be unicode string 255 hit okay and now go to the excel remap that and here we will be saying a copy of uh, first name copy of last name copy of address copy of I'm hitting a C here and that's how I'm getting those uh, drop downs here if you will see here you can select uh, any first character or of any uh, column name and it will show you so that's the kind of quick way to do it but I recommend uh, you know change this one copy of name to some decent name say maybe DC underscore F name so data conversion first name so by doing it you would know that which transformation is creating those columns hit ok so we are all good now you can press uh, control a that will select everything and then you can go to format and auto layout that will and diagram that will put uh, in them in the um, kind of uh, in a diagram and at least they will be more uh, structured you can you don't have to move these one uh, these uh, components or sources or transformation here you can always select all of them by with the mouse or by hitting control a and then format them in the way in the way you want it and you can also align them and all those make your same size whatever so here now if we run this package what is going to happen it is going to read the data from a table and then write the data to the report okay so let's do it right now it has no data but only the uh, some columns are formatted that's good let's uh, run the package so now package completed successfully let's go here check it and we can see that the format stays as it is and it put the data after that so that's good news so if in these kind of scenarios we do not have to use our script task if we are not really great in writing c sharp or vb and sometimes it's hard or not allowed to install those AP, uh, apis uh, on the ser production servers uh, for excel so this is a good, good way where we can write the data to the formatted uh, uh, Excel reports but this works great we can stop here if you want but uh, our goal was to create a report with date every time we run this uh, package so remember I have made a copy to the one of the folder called template folder that has no data so it has only the format whatever we want in so I can make a copy of this uh, file to the destination folder with the date and then we can write the data to it let's do it so let's copy uh, the path of this one customer data report that's the name 
and create a variable here. So by you can right click here in the control flow and the variables or you can go to SSIS and uh, from there you have a variables your choice hit the variable here and source template file so that's where we need to use this one and then here we need to provide that and uh, let me see backslash and I'm gonna copy the name exactly as it is because sometimes you can make errors and that's not a great thing you have to spend some time and uh, this is our uh, source file it sh should be appended that one but uh, let me go back here and, uh, it selected everything so okay so now if we hit this one back put it here well this is uh, whenever I'm pasting it here it's not taking the whole thing so I can uh, just make a copy here and uh, sometime just backslash here and take the file name sorry for inconvenience and taking a little more time here but uh, sometime you have to spend some time so this is the complete path for our source template let's put it here the next part is we need to create a, fo a folder where we want to write it so it's called destination folder and this is going to be string as well let's go to the destination folder we have under the output folder here and we are going to copy the folders path then go here and provide in the variable value and then put a backslash here now the last part will be we will be creating a full full destination file path so this is com going to be combination of your destination folder backslash your file name and then we will add date to it so let's uh, hit F4 that will take us to expressions and then we want to evaluate as true go to the expressions and then here we will be using our destination folder path plus we have to add the file we can give any name what we want let's say we want to just say customer and then we want to say underscore and then we want to add the data so we can get the data from the get data function from the date time functions here so, but if I will get date if I will try to just put the da get date here it's going to throw me error because the data uh, the get date is returning is not compatible with the string so I have to convert this one to the string dt underscore str or I can use wstr that's an and worker and I can use 30 that's that will take care of this part so we are doing conversion here so like the same way you do in SQL server but you write to cast or convert here you will be writing like this now I can use a substring function that's also available if you are curious how I'm getting these all functions and I'm writing by myself let me see I have these all functions here so I have mathematical function string function date time and here you can see the uh, substring here right here so you can drag it it tells you like what it do and what type of parameters uh, uh, it accept so you can write by yourself or just drag it here so here I'm using substring 1 comma 10 so I got the date part of it the last part I'm using I want to use the replace and remove the hyphen with the uh, underscores so I put hyphen comma then I have to put double quotes and then put underscore and double quotes so we'll be put in double quotes instead of single quotes like we do in a SQL server so let me see what happened I made a mistake here somewhere so I have replace and then uh, I have to let me put comma here and then say hyphen and then put double quotes comma hi uh, double quotes and then I will put underscore and that's how it is gonna work it should work fine now it is converted and then we have to put uh, the extension dot x l s x so that's the extension of our file or the report we want to create so here we said customer we might want to say customer report that's the name we want to give to this one and then we have the date added to it so we are all good we created the path for the excel file we want to use hit ok now the next step what we need to do we have to go in the excel connection manager and use this variable so we'll be going to expressions 
and here we will be using the excel file path because we are adding a date part to it and now every time we run it it should be different so we need to use this variable so we'll use a full destination file variable here this is going to be creating like this hit ok now if you see here a data flow task is shown red cross on this one because it's trying to validate so we have to go and set a couple of properties here we are going to set a delay validation property to uh, false uh, sorry true for the um, for the data flow task so here if you click on the data flow then you go to properties you will have delay validation set to true that means uh, we do not want to validate the connection manager at the moment why why we don't want to do it because if we will try to validate now it give us error as the file is not available at the moment so here in the go to the connection manager excel connection manager as well and set the property delay validation to true as well so we do not want to validate our connection manager at the point when the package is starting it is okay to validate when it will be running because by the time we will have the file moved to the source uh, from the template to the so, uh, destination folder the last part what we need to take care we need to make a copy here of the template and put in the destination let's go here bring the file system task and then here we will be using variable source variable in the source we have source template path and the destination will be using the full destination file and then if the file is there we want to override it so hit ok we are all good so let's save this uh, package now go to the destination folder here we have this uh, template sitting there just for the testing purpose we had it in the first now it doesn't have anyone so it is going to read the file or copy the file from here that doesn't have any data and then move to the destination folder and then um, we'll be adding the date uh, to it while it will copy that and then we will load the data by using the data flow task so run this one so the package uh, ran successfully all good stop the package and then go to the destination folder and we see that a file uh, excel file is created with the name customer report and it has a date added to it if we open it it should have uh, the format that's uh, we have added in the for, uh, template uh, file and then it added the data from the SQL Server table. So that's how you can load the data to the pre-formatted Excel um, files or reports that your business users have created and you want to load the data from different sources to them. Thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I appreciate your time and please provide uh, the feedback and one last thing I would like to say I'm sorry for taking a whole lot of time taking it slow because I have a lot of comments uh, people say you speak too fast and uh, I want to make it slow and uh, so you can follow step by step and uh, appreciate your um, feedback see you in next video